San Clemente native Griffin Colapinto is competing in the World Surf League finals this weekend at his home surf break. Trestles, he enters the competition as the two seed looking to upset number one Philippe Toledo, who's also the defending champion. It will be a storybook finish for Colapinto in front of his home crowd. Here's Jamie Maggio. Here we go, more action here. Cola Pinto finds some room under priority. You missed it the last two years, right? So how excited are you to be here? And does it feel like this is destiny to be on your, your home break? Yeah, it definitely feels like destiny. Uh, I'm really excited to be here. I started surfing out at this wave that we're having the contest out at, um, pretty much would get dropped off down there when I was like 10 years old. My parents would drop me off with my friends and have a little lunch pail and just be down there like for 12 hours like dawn till dusk and surf all day and just met all my friends down there and pretty much created a life at this wave. Is there pressure? Do you feel pressure because it is, you know, your hometown and this is the finals and you are the two seed or, or do you sort of embrace that? I feel like I've been embracing it pretty good. A, a lot of people I've been seeing have told me like, don't even worry about the outcome because you've already won. You made it here, you got everyone psyched, you've already won, it doesn't even matter what happens. So it's been cool hearing people tell me that because it's true, like I've had a really good year, my best year ever, and you know, I've got the town fired up and whatever happens, like we just feel that energy is like super special. Has the, the uniqueness and the specialness of this sunken in for you, the fact that you're here competing for a title in your hometown, or are you just sort of enjoying the moment? I think I'm just like enjoying the moment for sure. I definitely knew I'd be in this position at some point in my life just because I've just dreamt it so much and I've, I've put my whole life into it. And so, you know, I'm not really surprised that I'm here, but it's uh, it's definitely new territory, but I'm just loving every moment, every second of this. So, yeah, whatever happens, it's all good because. You know, I'm only 25 and I know I'll be, be back here again in the years to come. And so, you know, everyone's got their own timing and own moment. So whatever happens, let's just trust that. It's such a surf community here, but you and you grew up here, so it's, it's in your blood. But what was the first person or experience that you had in the water that you, you got hooked? Well, uh, yeah, I was, I was surfing actually a little bit like down the way from Lower Trestles, the wave they're having the comp at, a uh, spot called Middles. And I remember like taking off on this wave and like pumping, pumping, and then I like went off the lip and I remember catching air for like maybe like a second and just like maybe getting like that high out of the water. But at the time it felt like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> and like I remember that second, like that's all I wanted to do. I was like, I just want to get that feeling back. So that's like what kept driving me back to the ocean. So the confidence level is high? Yeah, confidence level is super high. I got a really good surfboard which helps a lot. My shaper at Mayhem, Matt Boyolas, lost surfboards. Been, been with them since I was 12. They're a local shaping company here. So, you know, just like got so much San Clemente behind me and it's just, you know, just ride the wave. <laughs>